All right, perfect. We are going to go ahead and get started. Sorry, just letting in a couple more people. But good morning. Happy to be here with y'all on this Monday morning or Monday afternoon, depending on where you're joining mm -hmm. us from. But my name is Julia. And my name is Kelly. And we're mother and daughter. And we own California Skincare Supply together. We are a three-generation female fam family-owned company um, specializing in offering what we think are the best skincare and equipment brands on the market. And we are doing a sheer organic class today. We have Jordana with us. She knows everything about <laughs> Shira. She is our Shira expert. So we're super excited. We did set up a sale um, with a coupon code for all of our class attendees. The coupon code is just Shira, and that is um not in capitals, all lower cases. And oh, the S is capital. Just sorry, <laughs> S is capital, the rest is all lower cases. Um, and that is 10% off the sheer organic brand for the rest of the week until Friday. Um, so if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to raise your hand, ask it, or you can type it in the chat and we'll make sure Jordana gets to it. But without further ado, we're just going to let Jordana take it away. Cool. Well, thanks for joining me today. Um, for those of you who have not attended one of my classes before, my name is Jordana. I'm the national educator for Shira Aesthetics, and I've been with Shira now for seven years, and I've been working with Kelly and Julia for, I think, probably five or six. Um, and both of you guys are really great. So I love working with you both. So I'm excited for those if this is your first time and going over the sheer organic line. It is, I think, out of the sheer lines, my favorite line. Um, but first, I'll just go over a brief history about Shira. So we've been around for over 30 years. The line started in 1990. It is a family owned business. Um, the founder of Shira, her name is Sarah Nazaria who was a nurse and a licensed esthetician um, who was working a lot with um, dermatology and um, a lot of patients. And when she saw that her treatments were working really well, she wanted to expand her own line, which is how Shira started. We have over 10 different lines, over 150 products, and we distribute products worldwide. Um, like I said, it is a family-owned business, and the owner of Shira now, his name is Jerry Nazaria. Um, he has a background in chemistry, and he does a lot of research and development with the products to really have the most innovative and high-quality results-oriented ingredients and products for everybody. Um, the brand Shira was actually named after Jerry's sister and Sarah's daughter. She unfortunately passed away at a young age at 15 from cancer. And that's when the Shira Foundation was formed. And we work a lot with um, terminally ill cancer patients as well as single mothers and other, um, other communities as well. So we work a lot with you know, people all around. Um, just some company highlights is that we are a one-stop shop. So we have a lot of different product lines. You can either combine all the lines together to really customize the facial for each client, or you can just do a set protocol for each line. So you can do sheer organic protocols only or sheer radiance protocols only. But I like to combine all the lines together personally. Um, everything is cruelty-free. Most of our products are vegan as well, and everything is eco-friendly. We've won awards throughout the years in the industry. We are professionally owned, um, a professional only line. Um, so you need to be an esthetician to use our products. Um, we're more of a niche brand as well. So even though we're around in a lot of different areas like New Jersey or California or Florida, for example, but we have a lot of different products. So most likely the spa won't be carrying the same line or products as you know the spa next door. Um, and also it's not as competitive as other brands. So, um, you're really carrying like a niche exclusive line with really nice packaging and really high quality ingredients. And we provide the education and training for everybody, which is really important. And we really feel that we need to support the esthetician, uh, the esthetician. So I'm happy to do that for everybody. Um, so I'll just go ahead and get started with the organic line. Um, everything in sheer organic is cruelty free, um, animal cruelty free and vegan. I think I'm saying that correctly. Um, so everything in the retail is offered in the bamboo packaging. Um, it's also offered in professional size as well. And we have some professional only products too. This line is really nice and it is one of the most popular because everybody loves or using organic products. 
And these are very results oriented because they have high levels of antioxidant activity. So you can get really nice results for your clients, but there's also a lot of products in the line. So you could customize a facial for each skin type and each client because there's a lot of variety, or you can follow the set protocols in the sheer organic line, but it covers pretty much every skin type and skin concern. Um, so it is 100% organic. Um, we have anti-aging formulas, products for acne, sensitive skin, for hyperpigmentation. Um, so you can really feel good about what you're applying on the skin. It's a more safe and effective way to care for the skin too. A lot of people can be sensitive to using clinical products. So using an organic line is safer and also gets the results that the clients want. It also provides long lasting hydration. The skin will look firmer and plumper as well. Um, the antioxidants enhance circulation in the skin, and it just really overall helps to clarify and brighten the skin tone um, and provides long lasting results. You'll see throughout our product line, we chose specific super fruits, herbs, and um, phytonutrients that really have high levels of antioxidant activity to get the best results. So you'll see a lot of, a lot of similar fruits, fruits throughout the products. So we have pineapple, you'll see a lot of papaya, definitely a lot of berries like blackberry and blueberries. Um, we use citrus fruits as well. Camu Camu is a really nice tropical fruit, has the highest level of vitamin C out of all the um, tropical fruits and citrus fruits. Um, oils that we use is avocado oil, um, sunflower oil, safflower oil, which has natural omega fatty acids. Um, for the plants, this is usually in our acne line in the organic product line. And also for sensitive skin, we use the eucalyptus, we have green tea, willow bark, mushroom extract. So a lot of different plants as well. So why should someone use an organic line? So as you all know, the skin is the largest organ of the body. So everything that you apply topically gets absorbed into the bloodstream. So again, it's just a safer way to care for the skin while also treating the skincare concerns and getting the results you know, that you want for your client or for your client to use at home to really treat the skin. Their organic ingredients don't disrupt any of your body's natural states or other um, body systems. And it's just very like nourishing for the skin, really provides a lot of hydration and nourishment. So it really doesn't um, dry out the skin or disrupt the skin barrier function either. So how do natural ingredients work? Um, we use a lot of polyphenols and micronutrients, which are found abundantly in natural plant and food sources. And these polyphenols and micronutrients have very high levels of antioxidant activity and anti-inflammatory properties. So it really helps to repair a lot of the damaged skin cells from environmental damage, which will in turn treat the signs of aging and acne and inflammation on the surface of the skin. We also use adaptogenic plants, which are very good for sensitive skin, and that really helps to reduce inflammation and helps speed up the healing process. And the other antioxidants just really help to protect the skin cells and protect against the free radical damage. So the reason why I really like using our organic line and using organic products in general is because you're not just treating the skin superficially on the surface, you're actually treating the inside of the skin to the outside because you're actually treating the damaged skin cells that causes like hyperpigmentation and sensitive skin and acne on the surface of the skin. So your client is going to get a longer lasting result because those antioxidants that your clients are going to be using just maintain the results from the products. So they're keeping, so they're going to treat their skin for longer, but also the results are going to stay and maintain. And also the organic line is very important because it treats the, um, or it maintains the skin barrier function of, you know, the skin, which protects the skin against environmental damage, protects the skin against, you know, pollution, um, the sun rays, things like that. So when you have a proper barrier function in the skin, it helps, you know, to prevent acne, even helps to prevent um, inflammation and rosacea and really helps to prevent, um, you know, the aging or it slows down the aging process. So having a proper skin barrier function really is important. And the organic ingredients help to repair the barrier function of the skin and to maintain it. So that's why I love using our organic line. So I'll start going over the products. So everything in here is available in retail, travel size, and professional. So there's three different sizes, but in here, you'll just be seeing the retail sizes. So the first product is the coconut oatmeal cleanser. 
So this one is very good for normal and dry skin types. It's a very nice anti-aging cleanser also. It is a dual action cleanser. So the oatmeal helps to exfoliate the dead skin cells on the surface very gently to allow the coconut oil to go deeper into the skin. And oatmeal is really good for inflammation, um, really helps to reduce redness and sensitivity and also strengthens the barrier function. And the coconut oil will help to remove all the dirt and debris from the skin without drying the skin out. And a lot of clients that um, have drier skin types, they use cleansers with like glycolic or lactic acid or maybe another alpha hydroxy acid, which can dry out the skin. But this one really helps to cleanse the skin without disrupting the pH and um, just keeps the skin um, like really hydrated while you're cleansing, which is important for dry skin types. And coconut has, you know, tons of antioxidants. It's a superfood. So it'll help to repair signs of sun damage, help to um, reduce the signs of fine lines and wrinkles and really plump up the skin as well. There is, there is papaya enzymes in the cleanser also, which will help to brighten the skin tone. So what I usually do and recommend is that you'll dispense about a quarter size amount of the cleanser into your hands. You don't need to add a lot of water because it won't foam up because it's a type of oil cleanser. So you'll just make um, make sure your hands are moist or wet and then you'll massage a cleanser for one to two minutes under the steam. And then you, you can remove it with cotton rounds, towels, or aesthetic wipes. Um, for home care, your client should use this cleanser morning and at night every day. And even though it does have exfoliation in, 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 um, inside the cleanser, it really helps to um, like brighten the skin and helps to reduce fine lines and wrinkles and really help with the signs of aging while cleansing. And it doesn't dry out the skin. And you can even add exfoliation in between once a week because the exfoliation in the cleanser is very gentle and very superficial. So it won't cause any sensitivity or anything like that. So this one is one of our top selling products for anti-aging and for dry skin. Then we have our eucalyptus cleanser. So this one is really good for combination oily and acne prone skin. I personally, out of all of our acne products, really love using the organic acne line because it's really good for you know younger um, clients that are in their teens or even younger that have acne because the products are very effective at treating acne, but it doesn't have any really harsh ingredients in the, in the product. So it's really safe to use. So the eucalyptus cleanser has natural eucalyptus, which is, you know, antibacterial, also helps to reduce redness and inflammation. There's also willow bark, which is the natural form of salicylic acid. So it helps to really decongest the pores and reduce acne scarring and balance the oil production in the skin. And there's also natural vitamin A, which really helps to reduce break, breakouts also. And this one is a very nice gel wash that when you add water, it does foam up. So it gets a really nice cleanse in the skin and just feels like really refreshing and it really helps to reduce break, breakouts quickly. So if I have a client that has active breakouts and I recommend the eucalyptus cleanser to the client to use even just the first time at night for the next few nights, like three nights in a row, their acne breakouts will clear up very quickly. So if you were more combination skin, I do recommend it either in the morning or at night. Um, but if the client was really, really oily or really acneic, they can use it morning and at night every day. For your facial room, you'll dispense, again, a quarter size amount, add water to your hands to make it foam up, and then you'll massage for one to two minutes under the steam, and then you can remove it um, with cotton rounds, towels, or aesthetic wipes. And I also recommend to use this one um, on very acne prone clients that you maybe performed a lot of extractions and you need to really disinfect the skin after you can cleanse again with the eucalyptus cleanser and then disinfect with the green tea toner. And this one is excellent for the body too, for back facials or for body acne on the shoulders, the chest and the back. It'll help to clear up body acne as well. Here we have our new cleanser, which is one of my favorites now. It's the Stone Crop and Mango Gel Cleanser. This one is really great for all skin types. Um, Stone Crop is um, from the cactus plant, and it's a really nice plant that helps with hyperpigmentation, helps with other signs of environmental damage, like sensitive skin, inflammation, um, hyperpigmentation. So it's a really nice plant to help with brightening. 
And for premature aging, it's really nice as well as for anti-aging for mature skin clients. And your mango, which has a lot of antioxidants, will also help to reduce fine lines and wrinkles. But the antioxidants also help to repair the signs of aging, such as sun damage and also inflammation and strengthens the barrier function of the skin. So it's a very nice all around, really good cleanser to use. And it also foams up. So it's very deeply cleansing as well. It does have enzymes and natural sugar cane, which has natural alpha hydroxy acids, but it's very gentle. So any skin type can use this one. So you can use this in any facial for acne, for sensitive skin, or even for anti-aging, you can dispense a quarter size amount, add water, and then make it foam up and massage under the steam for one to two minutes. For home care, your client can use this morning and or at nighttime. Um, it does have exfoliation, so if they wanted to use it just at nighttime, they can, but they can use it morning and at night as well, as long as they wear the sunscreen during the daytime. Jordana, we had a quick question. I believe it was yeah. for the eucalyptus cleanser. Is the eucalyptus cleanser okay for uh, mature skin? Yeah. If they were oily or, you know, had some breakouts, it's fine. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. But I think for mature skin, um, also the stone crop cleanser will be nice as well because the exfoliation um, also does help with acne and it also helps with anti-aging the cleanser. So you can try that one also. Then we have toner. So we have our pomegranate toner, which is really nice for dry skin and for anti-aging as well. So toners balance the pH of the skin, of course. Um, but in the toner, it's formulated with anti-aging ingredients like vitamin C from the pomegranate. There's also punistic acid from pomegranates, which have omega fatty acids to help with hydration and plumping. Um, and then in pomegranates as well is a polyphenol called elagic acid, which inhibits collagen breakdown. So it's very good for firming and plumping up fine lines and wrinkles. So this one is really good for helping to brighten and even the skin tone, helping to reduce fine lines or wrinkles and keeping the skin really hydrated while also um, balancing the pH of the skin. So in your facial, I usually recommend to use the pomegranate toner after cleansing and after the mask. And you can either spray it on a cotton round and then wipe the face, the neck and the chest, or you can mist it directly over the client. For home care, they can use the toner either after the coconut oatmeal cleanser or after the stone crop and mango cleanser every day um, after cleansing morning and at nighttime. And it's really important to sell the toner with the cleanser because if your client doesn't have a balanced pH of the skin, they're more prone to environmental damage like hyperpigmentation, aging, like fine lines and wrinkles, and even acne and inflammation. Um, so it's really important that they use the toner. And also it'll help to um, have the other products in their, in their regimen work better. Because if they don't have a balanced pH of the skin, the other products won't work as well. And anything can disrupt the pH like throughout the day. So that's why it's important to use the toner morning and at night after cleansing. Then we have the green tea toner. So this one's really good for combination oily and acne prone skin. Green tea is very detoxifying and also has antibacterial properties. So it really helps to reduce breakouts and balance oil production. There's also willow bark formulated into the toner, which helps um, to decongest the pores and helps to reduce acne scarring and helping to balance the oil production also. And there's witch hazel also formulated in here. So overall, this one's really good for acne prone skin, for combination skin and oily skin types. And this one doesn't dry out the skin at all. So you can use this one after um, the eucalyptus cleanser or even after the stone crop and mango cleanser if your client was combination skin and you recommended the stone crop cleanser instead. And this one, again, you can either spray on a cotton round and then wipe the skin or you can mist it directly over the client. You'll use this one after cleansing and after the mask in your oily skin facial, but in any facial where you performed extractions, even if you perform, performed extractions on a dry skin client, you'll always want to disinfect with the green tea toner afterwards. And I always use a cotton round to do that. So this one will be a disinfectant after you perform extractions. And again, morning and at night every day. Now we'll go on to our serum. So the first one is the pomegranate serum. So this one is for dry skin and for anti-aging. I do recommend it also for combination skin clients that do have concerns 
um, about aging or hyperpigmentation. It doesn't um, clog or congest the pores, but it is better for drier skin because of the punistic acid that contains omega-5 fatty acid. It really helps to like really hydrate and keep the skin very nourished and hydrated and plumped. You also have vitamin C from pomegranate, which helps to even the skin tone and helps to reduce hyperpigmentation. Um, and the serum also helps to produce collagen in the skin, which will help to improve the elasticity and help to um, reduce the signs of fine lines and wrinkles. So for your facial, some clients massage this um, the serum before applying the mask. You can use this one as a massage product with like um, the skin spatula or gua sha or your globes to um, massage the skin with it. Or you can use your hands to massage the serum. Um, or you can apply it after you do the mask treatment after 10 or 15 minutes after doing your mask treatment, then you can massage the pomegranate serum. So really either way will work, but I like to use it after the mask personally. And then for home care, your client can use this morning and at night every day, but it's very important that your client uses it in the morning time because the antioxidants in the pomegranates help to protect the skin cells against environmental damage during the daytime. Um, so again, morning and at night is very good, but definitely during the daytime, it's more important. Then we have the oil control eucalyptus serum. So again, this one's for combination oily or acne prone skin. It has eucalyptus and natural salicylic acid from willow bark. So it really helps to decongest the pores, balance that oil production and help to reduce acne breakouts. Um, so this one doesn't dry out the skin either. So it's really good for, again, combination to oily and acne prone skin without drying the skin out. Um, I like to use this on clients that really complain about having a lot of blackheads and congestion or clients that really like they tell me that they wake up in the morning and they're already drenched with oil. It's very effective to bound for balancing the oil production in the skin. So the oil control eucalyptus serum, I, I usually recommend to use after um, extractions, like after you disinfect with a green tea toner, you can apply the eucalyptus serum first and massage that into the skin and then apply either the red lava mask or the cherry clay mask. And that does a couple of things. So it helps to disinfect the skin more. Um, and the clay mask will help to push the ingredients deeper into the skin. But our acne mask can be a little active for some clients. So it helps to just cut the tingling a little bit from the acne mask. For home care, your client can use this morning and or at nighttime. So if they were more like combination skin, they can use it either or in the morning or at nighttime. Um, but if your client was very oily and really acneic, they can use it twice a day, morning and at night, and then apply moisturizer over it. So now we have our moisturizers and there's a lot of different ones to choose from. So we have the apricot moisturizer first. This is for normal to dry skin types. I really like this one for premature aging. So clients, let's say in their late twenties or thirties that are starting to have signs of aging, this one works very well. So the main ingredient in here is the apricot extract. Um, and apricots in any orange fruit or vegetable has beta carotene which is a polyphenol. And that mimics um, like your skin or your body producing natural vitamin A. So it kind of works like a vitamin A product. So it'll help to reduce wrinkles, help to even the skin tone uh, to plump up the skin as well and improve the elasticity and helps to produce collagen. So this one is very good for um, fine lines, wrinkles and plumping up the skin. And it's also very hydrating. So this one is recommended for daytime for home care because we do have night creams that are a little bit thicker and help um, to increase the cell turnover faster at nighttime. Um, so this one is meant for day and it's very lightweight. So when you massage it into the skin, it doesn't feel greasy or like leave a layer over the skin. And for your facial, in our protocol for the hydrating facial, it recommends to end with the apricot moisturizer. Um, and that'll just give like a really nice glow to the skin and it's very hydrating and again, not greasy. So your client won't feel like leaving the treatment room, like very oily and greasy, which is nice. So, and it does give the skin a nice dewy glow too. Then we have our avocado moisturizer. So this is one of our top selling moisturizers throughout the line. This one I like more for very dry, mature skin types or a client that's dehydrated. It is a little bit thicker than the apricot, which is why I recommend it more for mature skin types. 
It also helps to increase the cell turnover. Um, there's a lot of antioxidants. There's vitamins A, B, D, and E. And that um, helps to repair cell damage from you know, sun damage, pollution, and other sources of environmental damage, but also helps to reduce collagen in the skin to really um, like tighten, firm, plump, and also reduce the fine lines and wrinkles. And it also feels very buttery and silky, and it like really keeps the skin hydrated uh, for longer periods of time, which is important for dry and mature skin. So your client can use this during the daytime for home care. And even though it is a little thicker, it do, again, doesn't leave like a very greasy feel to it. It absorbs into the skin very well. For our facial protocol and our hydrating facial, we recommend actually massaging with the avocado moisturizer and then applying the mango mask over it, which will actually lock hydration for seven days into the skin. And the avocado, since it's very hydrating and, and it has a nice slip to it, it's very nice to do your facial massage with the avocado moisturizer. So that's what I recommend also. Then we have our blackberry moisturizer. So any type of berry has bioflavonoids, which helps to stimulate the skin circulation and also helps to reduce inflammation because berries and blackberries especially contains um, omega fatty acids, which really helps to reduce inflammation and redness in the skin. But it's also a very good anti-aging moisturizer also because it does help to produce collagen with all those omega fatty acids. Um, and the natural vitamin C in the berries also help to even the skin tone and also help to produce collagen in the skin. So this one is really good for sensitive skin clients or clients that have rosacea that also have signs of aging as well. So you can end your sensitive skin facial with a blackberry moisturizer, and then your client um, who is sensitive skin can use this one morning and a night every day. And this one really helps to reduce that redness very quickly in the skin. So it's very effective. So now we'll go on to our acne moisturizers or for oily skin. We have the grapefruit moisturizer. You can use it for oily and acne prone skin, but I also like this one for combination skin types. So this one is oil free. It doesn't clog the pores, but the citric acid and vitamin C from the grapefruit extract really helps to decongest the pores, um, helps to reduce active acne and helps to lighten acne scarring. And again, doesn't obviously leave a greasy feel to it because it is oil free. So for home care, your client can use it morning and at nighttime if they're combination to oily skin. For your facial treatment, if, they're, if the client was combination to oily, you can end the treatment with the grapefruit moisturizer. But we also have the eucalyptus tea tree moisturizer, and this one is more for like very acne prone skin and very oily skin types. And that's because it has eucalyptus and tea tree. So both working together have very like strong antibacterial properties that really helps to reduce the acne, um, especially cystic acne. It's very good. And this one is very um, lightweight. It's almost like a water-based moisturizer. It's very, um, it's lighter weight than the grapefruit. So that's why I also keep it for very oily or very acne prone skin types. So if your client was acne prone, they can use it morning and at night every day, especially if they get cystic acne breakouts. It'll actually um, like prevent the breakout from coming out. So once like your client will feel that they're, they're getting the cystic acne breakout, they can start applying the eucalyptus tea tree moisturizer and it'll reduce it right away. Um, and then in your facial treatment as well, uh, you can also end the facial treatment with eucalyptus tea tree moisturizer. The next moisturizer is our turmeric moisturizer. And this one is one of my favorites because I love turmeric. Um, so this one is packed with antioxidants, polyphenols. Um, turmeric is an herb or a spice, I guess you would say, that is known for having like one of the highest levels of antioxidant activity. Um, and it's, it's an adaptogenic plant. So it also really helps to reduce inflammation and redness and very good for rosacea. And turmeric is also a natural lightening agent. So it's very good for hyperpigmentation and sun damage. Um, turmeric's also excellent for acne. So this one really targets a lot of different skin concerns. Um, and this one is very good to use on Fitzpatrick skin types that are um, higher on the Fitzpatrick scale. Um, for darker skin clients that can't use glycolic acid, turmeric is a really nice option to help reduce hyperpigmentation. And this one doesn't dry out the skin at all. It's super hydrating. I actually have a lot of clients um, 
in like Las Vegas or that area where the air is very dry and their skin is very dehydrated, it really helps to restore the hydration levels in the skin. And it doesn't leave a greasy film at all. So this one can be used morning and at nighttime. Um, in your facial treatment, you can end with the turmeric moisturizer if you're not really sure like what to use because your client has every skincare concern and they're like also rosacea or sensitive skin. You can always use the turmeric moisturizer. Um, and it's super effective. The turmeric is actually one of the moisturizers that has the highest levels of anti um, antioxidant activity from all of our moisturizers. The next moisturizer is the Matcha Lift. So this one, I usually only recommend for mature skin types that have very deep wrinkles and a lot of loss of elasticity. So the main ingredient in here is matcha. And matcha, which is derived from green tea, has EGCG, which is a polyphenol that really repairs a lot of signs of environmental damage. Um, and in matcha, there's 137 times more of the EGCG than in green tea. So this one really repairs a lot of damaged skin cells very quickly and really increases the cell turnover in the skin very fast. So your client will see results for, you know, brightening, like really firming and tightening of the skin and really helps to reduce like really deep wrinkles. This one is on the thicker side. I personally really like thicker creams. Um, the base of this cream is actually mango butter, which contains beta carotene, which um, mimics your um, like the vitamin A production in the skin. So it'll also help to um, even the skin tone and really help to reduce wrinkles that way also. So this one is very effective for mature skin types. I also recommend the clients for home care to obviously use it on the face, but also to use it on the neck and chest. Um, for like really creepy, like really deep wrinkles and a lot of sun damage on the chest area, it's very effective. So in your facial, um, you can use this at the end of the treatment because it'll actually fill in the fine lines and wrinkles because it is a thicker base. So it'll just give like a really nice plumped look to the skin. But you can also perform um, a neck and chest massage with the matcha lift moisturizer while your client is sitting with the mask treatment to really plump out those wrinkles on the chest and to really like lift and firm the neck area. For home care, since it is on the thicker side, I usually recommend it at nighttime and your skin actually is more permeable at nighttime and increases the cell turnover faster. So it'll really like get those ingredients from the matcha lift moisturizer really deep into the skin. But if your client is like super dry or also like me, just really loves thicker creams, they can use it during the daytime too, but it's really effective for nighttime use. The next moisturizer is the Pinot Noir moisturizer. So this one is for sensitive skin types that also have hyperpigmentation and also wrinkles as well. Um, the main ingredient in the moisturizer is the grape seed extract, which contains resveratrol which is another polyphenol that really helps to even the skin tone and helps to reduce uh, redness and helps with um, other signs and symptoms of rosacea. This one is also on the thicker side. So I usually just recommend it for nighttime use. Um, for professional, a lot of my um, esthetician clients perform massage with the Pinot Noir instead of the avocado if they have like more mature skin or more signs of aging. Um, or you can end the facial with the Pinot Noir. The next product is the green algae soothing gel. And this is one that I always recommend for estheticians to have. This is like my emergency back bar product. Like if someone was getting really red or um, you need to like really cool down the skin, this one is super effective. So the main ingredients in here is um, seaweed extract, which contains a lot of vitamin B to help with healing and redness. You have Arnica extract, which helps with swelling um, and bruising as also. You have mushroom extract, which is very, very healing for the skin. And you also have go-to cola extract, which is an herb that helps with healing and also helps with signs of aging. But this one is like using an aloe vera gel, but just like way more effective. It works instantly and it feels very cooling on the skin. So I use this in a couple of different ways. So you can, if you're doing a sensitive skin facial, you can kind of use a green algae soothing gel, like a serum before the moisturizer especially if they're like very red and inflamed, but you can also use this one as a mask for sensitive skin or for treatments like dermaplaning or microneedling or peels where the client's skin gets very red 
um, and they're sensitized. You can use either the green algae gel, um, the soothing gel, like a mask and leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and remove it. Or you can actually leave it on for like two to three minutes and then massage it into the skin and then apply a mask for their skin type. And that'll just like further help with like redness and soothing. Um, I also recommend to use this uh, um, on clients after extractions. Uh, like some clients like me, I get very red and puffy after um, I get a facial and I have extractions done because I'm a little bit more sensitive. So when you use the disinfectant, like the green tea toner, and then you'll apply the green algae gel on the areas where you perform the extractions, it just helps to reduce that redness and inflammation by the time the facial is over. You can also use it on the body um, for sunburns, for home care, let's say. Um, but it's a very, very important to use for back bar. So I always recommend estheticians to have this one. And it's really good for um, facial waxing and body waxing just to help to reduce the redness and like the sensitized skin. The next product is the Blueberry Night Cream. Um, this is a very popular retail item as well, but it's also one of my favorite products. Um, so this one smells amazing. Um, it's very good for premature aging. So the matcha lift will be for mature skin types. And then the blueberry night cream, while it's also good for mature skin types, it's also very good for premature aging. So again, those clients in like their late twenties or thirties that are starting to see the signs of aging, especially sun damage. Um, it's very good to recommend for them to use at nighttime. So blueberries have a lot of vitamin C, so it'll help to even the skin tone and re to reduce sun damage. There's also omega fatty acids in blueberries that help to really plump up the skin, help to plump up fine lines and wrinkles, and really produce a lot of collagen in the skin for firmer and tighter skin and helping to improve elasticity. And it's super hydrating um, and really leaves a nice dewy glow. So of course, this one is for nighttime because it is on the thicker side. And again, because you increase the cell turnover at nighttime, your skin is more permeable. So it'll really help to get those ingredients really deep into the skin. But I have a lot of clients that also like to use this one during the daytime because it is super hydrating and really does like leave a very nice dewy glow to the skin. Um, so you can, you, it is meant for nighttime, but if your client wants to use it during the day, that's totally fine also. For your facial treatment, because it does come in professional size, if you have a client that's like very sun damaged um, and you need to really infuse a lot of antioxidants into the skin, you can either massage with the blueberry night cream instead of the avocado, or you can use it at the end if your client is on the drier side um, or has sun damage and it does leave the nice dewy glow. But it's really good if you really need to really deeply infuse a lot of antioxidants into the skin. So this cream is also one of our um, moisturizers that has the highest levels of antioxidant activity. And then Jordana, we had a quick question um, for the massage option using the Pinot Noir, should you add a serum? Um, I wouldn't add serum, maybe. Um, if you needed to have a little more slip, I actually add like a little toner to my hands just to make it sure that it's like wet. Okay, perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. Our next product is the Apple Stem Cell Night Cream. So this one works very well for hyperpigmentation. Um, so this one, the main active ingredient is the Swiss Apple Stem Cell. And what that does actually, when you penetrate um, the cream into the skin, the Swiss Apple Stem Cell Extract is able to detect like inside of the skin cell um, where it is inside of the skin cell that's causing the hyperpigmentation on the surface of the skin. And it's treating that specific damage inside of the skin cell. So it's actually working inside to the outside. So it's not just like using, for example, glycolic acid that just works more superficially to reduce the hyperpigmentation. It's working inside to the outside first. You also have licorice root extract, which helps to reduce hyperpigmentation and also prevent hyperpigmentation because it's a melanin inhibitor. So your client will get a, a nice long lasting result uh, for sun damage, especially. Um, so this one works very well. It's super effective, but for clients that have deeper hyperpigmentation or have melasma, for example, I do recommend those clients to use it morning and at nighttime to get the best results. Um, or else you can just recommend it for nighttime. But 
um, treatments like for melasma, it can, it can be hard to treat melasma because the hyperpigmentation, it is hormonal and it could be deep burned in the skin. So I like to recommend um, morning and at night for this one. And it does have azelaic acid um, and malic acid derived from the apple, uh, which is an alpha hydroxy acid, which treats hyperpigmentation, helps to even the skin tone. So it may have a little bit of a tingly um, feel to it when your client uses it on the skin, which is normal. And they should use a sunscreen during the daytime when using it. And obviously that prevents hyperpigmentation also. It does come in professional size. So again, for like sun damaged skin, you can either use this one as the massage product or you can end the facial with um, the apple stem cell cream. Then we have the cucumber eye cream. So this is a really good eye cream for anyone. Um, it treats a lot of different concerns around the eye area. So the vitamin A will help to reduce crow's feet and lines around the eye. Your vitamin E will help to reduce puffiness and like under eye bags. And then your vitamin C helps to brighten the eye area and helps to reduce dark circles. It is on the thicker side also. And again, I like thicker creams, even eye creams. And the reason why I like that is because when you apply the cucumber eye cream, it does fill in like the lines and wrinkles, but also fills in like the hollowness of the eyes. So the client's eyes will just look very rejuvenated. Um, and it leaves like a glowing, like a dewy glowing look around the eye too, um, which is nice. Um, you know, especially for the treatment. So for your treatment, I usually recommend to apply the eye cream after the serum. Um, for home care, your client can use it morning and at night every day before applying moisturizer. And any eye cream has to be used both morning and at night because the eye area is really hard to treat because the skin is so thin and it's like the, like the area on the face that ages first. And it's really prone to a lot of sun damage and environmental damage. So eye creams in general, eyes need like very, a lot of nutrients and just like really constantly needs to be um, adding like nutrients to those areas. So it's really important that the client uses the eye cream morning and at nighttime. So now we'll go on to the exfoliation. So the first one is the sugar cane microderm peel. This one is safe for all skin types, but I usually use it on clients that are drier or uh, mature skin or, or are a little bit more sensitive because this one has um, Jehovah beads for the physical exfoliation, but it does feel a little bit more like on the oily side because of the Jehovah beads. So that's why I usually keep it for um, drier skin or for mature skin types that are a little bit more sensitive. And it is formulated with sugarcane, which is where glycolic acid is derived from. So you have the alpha hydroxy acids natural from the sugarcane with the Jehovah beads. So it really gives a nice exfoliating action to the skin. So the way I use this one is under steam. I'll take maybe at first like a nickel size amount, add water to it and massage the skin for a minute or two. Um, and the key to all of our scrubs is you really don't need a lot. And in general, all of our products, you really don't need a lot of it to get a result and you don't wanna waste product anyway. But if you use too much of the scrub, there's gonna be too many beads left over on the skin. So if you do find that you have leftover beads from the scrubs on the skin, you need to let the skin dry naturally first, or you can blot it with like a dry tissue and then wipe off the beads um, on dry skin. Because if you keep using like wet tissue or towels, it'll just move the leftover beads around. So you just need to slough them off with your hands or a dry tissue on dry skin. But if you use like a nickel size amount of the scrub, that won't happen. So just make sure you can use a small amount first and you can always add scrub, you know, if you find that you need more. So you'll scrub under the steam for one to two minutes and then remove it with towels or cotton wipes or aesthetic wipes. And then you can either go on to extractions where I usually do the massage after I exfoliate the skin. For home care, any skin type can use this one at home. But again, I typically recommend more like dry and mature skin types to use the sugar cane microderm peel. And they can use it one to two times a week, depending on how sensitive they are. So if they were sensitive, just once a week is good. But if they can tolerate a scrub two times a week, that would be better. And they should space it out. So maybe in the beginning of the week, like on a Monday, and then on a Thursday again before the weekend is good. Then we have the AHA treatment scrub. So this is our most popular exfoliation. I really love this one. It is really good for all skin types, but I love using this one on acne. Um, and oily skin, and also for hyperpigmentation. So this one blends a lot of different alpha hydroxy acids like citric acid, 
um, glycolic acid as well from different fruits. Um, there's orange peel, lemon peel, there's pomegranate, um, grapefruit peel also. So a lot of vitamin C, citric acid, and other alpha hydroxy acids. And it also has the bamboo beads inside. So you, again, you have the physical exfoliation from the bamboo beads and then the chemical exfoliation from the natural fruits and the natural alpha hydroxy acids. So it really helps to reduce acne and really helps to reduce hyperpigmentation and really decongest the pores like a lot. For clients that have blackheads, this one is really, really good to use. And this one does foam up a lot. So again, you wanna take a very small amount, add water to your hands first to make it foam up and then scrub for one to two minutes under the steam. And then you can remove it with um, hot towels or cotton wipes or aesthetic wipes. And then you can perform extractions on the skin. Um, for home care, again, depending on how oily or sensitive your client is, if they were like more oily and acneic, they could scrub two times a week. But if they were more like on the dry or sensitive side, they can use it just once a week at nighttime. Then we have the espresso coffee scrub. So this one is very good for sun damage and this one's good for premature aging also. So this one doesn't use any like alpha hydroxy acids. Um, it uses the espresso beans to physically exfoliate the skin, but because the scrub is formulated with caffeine, it's stimulating. So it stimulates um, the skin circulation and really helps to reduce sun damage. So for clients that are like dull looking skin or like they went in the tanning bed a lot and just like tan outside on the beach. They're just like very dull looking and need a glow. Um, using the espresso coffee scrub is very good for those clients. Um, and you can just scrub with it under the steam again for a minute or two. It does foam up so you can add water and then massage for one to two minutes. Um, for home care, again, one to two times a week, depending on how oily or sensitive the client's skin is. Then we have our pumpkin smoothing peel. So this is our strongest scrub that we have. I use it on any skin type that's not sensitive. Um, it's really good for clients that have thicker skin that have had acne scarring, especially, um, and then also have hyperpigmentation um, that can tolerate a stronger scrub. So this one uses pumpkin enzymes and pumpkin enzymes are a stronger enzyme that like is very stimulating, but really helps to reduce sun damage and acne. Um, and it does have the pumpkin seeds to provide that physical exfoliation. Um, but this one, your client will feel a lot of tingling. So I usually just massage with it for one minute under the steam and then remove it with towels or cotton wipes. For home care, even if your client was oily or acne prone or thicker skin, I still recommend it once a week because it is a stronger scrub. Some clients in your facial or at home, they may get a little like a red flush, which is normal. But by the time they finish the treatment at home or you finish the facial, the redness will go down. So like if the client says, oh, I feel a lot of tingling or I look a little, if they look a little flush, that's normal. But never use this one on sensitive skin. If your client was sensitive or has rosacea, you can use the pineapple papaya enzyme peel. And this is like my favorite exfoliation out of all the exfoliation because I love using enzymes. So enzymes work more superficially on the skin and dissolve um, the dead skin cells on the surface, um, but it's very gentle. So it's safe to use on anyone. And this one, because of the citric acid is very good for brightening the skin tone, um, good for acne and acne scarring, and also helping with signs of aging, like fine lines um, and wrinkles. And it smells amazing. And I love pina coladas. So I love using the pineapple by enzyme. So this one you can also use in a lot of different ways. So if you wanted to just use this one alone as the only exfoliation, you can leave this one on after cleansing and toning under the steam for about five to seven minutes. And then you can remove it and then you can perform extractions if needed. But you can also double up on the exfoliation. So um, you can scrub with the AHA treatment scrub, for example, uh, for a minute or two, remove that, and then apply the pineapple enzyme under the steam for about three to five minutes. And that'll actually set up the skin very well for extraction. So if you need to do a lot of extractions, I like um, using that double exfoliation treatment because it really like opens the pores and softens the skin. A lot of clients also use this in combination with microderm and dermaplaning. So I typically suggest performing those treatments first and then applying the pineapple papaya enzyme on afterwards for about three to five minutes. 
and that'll enhance the result of the treatment, especially for like brightening and acne and fine lines and wrinkles. It just really enhances the result of the microderm or the dermaplaning. So that's just my suggestion to try it out if you're having it. And it's very gentle, so it won't cause like any sensitivity or like irritation on the skin. For home care, this one's really good for sensitive skin to exfoliate. Um, they can just use it like a mask one to two times a week for five to seven minutes, and then they can wash it off. And then they'll apply um, the toner, serum, eye cream, and moisturizer. So next we'll go on to our mango butter mask. So this one is our most popular mask for dry and sensitive skin. So this one um, does lock in hydration for seven days after the facial treatment. So really good for dehydration, like very dry, mature skin. It has the mango butter, which has, you know, the beta carotene, which um, really helps to even the skin tone, reduce fine lines or wrinkles. But also mango butter is very good for sensitive skin. Um, it helps to repair the moisture barrier, and it's also anti-inflammatory. So it's very good for dry and sensitive. And it smells amazing. Um, it feels just like so buttery on the skin. So after 10 to 15 minutes, you'll remove it, and the client's skin just feels so silky and soft, and they look very plumped and rejuvenated. And the client will feel hydrated, and will probably still talk, be still talking about it after a week. So this one is really, really good to use. And you really only need like a very thin layer. You don't want to overuse any of our masks because you don't want to like keep layering the mask on because if you put too much mask on, it's not even going to penetrate into the skin. So you really need to just put a very thin layer of all of our masks so you can almost see the skin underneath it still. And that'll like really give a nice result. So you don't need a lot of masks to get a nice treat, um, result for your client. And then for home care, they can use the mango butter mask after cleansing. Um, after exfoliating once a week is good for dry skin. And then we got a question. Um, uh, do you apply the pineapple and papaya after dermaplaning or before? I do it afterwards. I know some clients use it as a prep um, for the dermaplaning and the microderm, but I just find that if it's done afterwards, it just enhances the result. So really they can use it anyway, but I like to do it afterwards. Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So next is the go-to cola overnight hydration mask. So we used to have another go-to cola mask. Um, so we did reformulate it. I like using overnight masks, especially for like very dry and dehydrated skin. Um, and we added another really good ingredient into the mask. So go-to cola is a very nice herb. It's also in the green algae soothing gel. It really helps to heal the skin while also reducing fine lines and wrinkles and helps with firming. Then we added reishi mushroom extract, which really helps to reduce inflammation, um, really good for redness, um, and also helps to even the skin tone. So it also makes the skin like very glowing um, and rejuvenated. And there's also natural omega fatty acids in the mask that really help to plump, firm, and hydrate. And this one um, is just like, I really love this mask. It's super effective, really good for dry and mature skin and dehydration. So for home care, um, it's a really nice mask because your client doesn't need to do like all those steps. It's like waiting for the mask for 10 minutes and then going on to the next step. You know, some clients don't want to do that routine, even though it's important. So if your client just wants to have like an overnight treatment mask, you know, just to get something into their skin um, that has a fast result, but also they don't need to do all those steps. The go-to cola overnight hydration mask is really good. So the client will do their entire regimen. So they'll do the cleansing, toning, they can scrub. They'll actually put the serum, the eye cream, and the moisturizer first. Just, you know, make sure that it'll be all absorbed into the skin. And then they'll apply a very thin layer of the go-to cola overnight hydration mask on after. And they'll, they can put like a very thin layer, almost like they're applying moisturizer. They can just spread it around the skin. They can let it absorb in and then massage it in, or they can just completely massage it in right away. And then when they go to sleep um, overnight in the morning, they can wash it off and they will look very plumped. They'll feel very hydrated and just feel like very rejuvenated. So it's a very, very nice mask um, for retail. It does come in professional size. Um, a lot of my clients actually perform massage with the go-to cola mask instead of using the moisturizer, but they only do that if it's like a very dehydrated client. Like if you did a treatment where you have a lot of transepidermal water loss, 
using the go-to cola mask to massage the skin really helps to repair the hydration levels and also helps to reduce any redness and inflammation. But really the only mask that you could apply afterwards using the go-to cola would be the mango butter mask um, to really like lock in that hydration in the skin. So that's just a protocol that you can use. Then we have the blueberry mask. So this one is a clay base. Um, this one is stronger for anti-aging than the mango butter. Um, there's actually a flower enzyme in the mask that helps with brightening, but it can cause like some tingling for the client. So this one is a little bit active. And then um, the, that flower enzyme, again, helps to reduce sun damage and hyperpigmentation, while the blueberry extract is helping to produce collagen in the skin and really helps to firm and tighten and to reduce fine lines and wrinkles. And the vitamin C will also help to brighten the skin, um, to brighten the skin tone. So this one is good for brightening and for tightening the skin. Um, so you can leave this one on for 10 to 15 minutes in the facial treatment. You can even use this one on oily skin that does have signs of aging, um, especially like fine lines and wrinkles. Um, so you can use that as an option also. Um, and for home care, I usually just recommend all masks once, once a week after exfoliating. Then we have the acai mask. So this one is very good for sensitive skin. So acai is a super berry. It is one of the superfoods that have a lot of antioxidant activity, but it has a lot of omega fatty acids, especially. So it really helps to reduce redness and inflammation in the skin. And this one works quickly as well to reduce the redness on the skin. So it's really good also for treatments where the client does have a lot of sensitivity after like microderm, or if you did the pumpkin enzyme or like a chemical peel to really reduce the inflammation and redness. Or if your client had rosacea, um, you'll use this as the treatment mask for 10 to 15 minutes, and then you can remove it with um, cotton wipes or steam towels. The next two masks that we have are more active masks. Um, they're both really good for sun damage. So the first one is the Swiss Citrus Marmalade Mask. So this one is um, really good for hyperpigmentation and also for wrinkles, but it really helps to repair sun damage. This one I usually keep for more mature skin types that have deeper hyperpigmentation or deeper fine lines and wrinkles. So the main ingredient in here is Camu Camu, which is a tropical fruit with one of the highest levels of vitamin C from all the citrus fruits. And it really helps to reduce hyperpigmentation and to even the skin tone. There's also natural alpha hydroxy acids from different citrus fruits, and you have bioflavonoids also formulated into the mask. So it's very stimulating. So sometimes clients, um, they'll have like a red flush after um, mask for like after 10 or 15 minutes, they may look like they have a little red flush, which is normal. They may feel tingling as well with the mask. But once you do toner and then the rest of the treatment, the redness will go down, but they'll look just very like um, rejuvenated and have like a nice glow to the skin. So also for dull looking skin, again, clients that have sat in the tanning, the tanning bed all those years, this one is very good to um, restore the glow to the skin, but also really help to reduce that um, deeper hyperpigmentation. Then we have the Apple DNA Smoothing Mask. So this one is good for premature aging. Um, especially like that, like um, more superficial hyperpigmentation and also fine lines. Um, so this one has your apple tree seed, um, which really helps to even the skin tone. You also have malic acid derived from apples, which is now alpha hydroxy acid that helps to even the skin tone and reduce hyperpigmentation. This one isn't as strong as the um, sweet citrus marmalade. Um, so that's why I like the sweet citrus marmalade more for mature skin and the apple DNA smoothing mask for more premature aging. Um, but some clients will feel tingling. So you'll leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes, um, remove it with your towels or cotton wipes, and then you'll go on to the rest of the treatment. Both of these are gel based. So you can use them really on any skin type except for sensitive skin. And both of these for home care is just once a week at nighttime. Then we have two different acne masks. Um, the first one is the red lava mineral mask. And this one's really popular. Um, with our estheticians. So this is um, a clay-based mask, which is made from bentonite clay, <clears throat> which helps to really draw out a lot of impurities of the skin. It helps to exfoliate, also has antibacterial properties. You also have um, vitamins A and C, which both also help to reduce um, breakouts on the skin. 
You have natural salicylic acid and enzymes, which do provide exfoliation, but also really help to reduce that active acne. And there's also licorice root extract in the mask too, which helps with acne scarring, especially the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, which is like that dark, um, the red spot that forms after the client picks their acne, which will turn into scarring. So it's really good to reducing the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And this one's extremely popular because it dries really creamy. So it's really easy to remove from the skin. So you'll leave this one on for about 10 to 15 minutes. Some clients may feel tingling, some clients won't. It just really depends if, on how often that they've used active ingredients or if they're like a little bit more on the sensitive side. Um, but you'll leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes and then you'll remove it and follow on with the next steps of the facial treatment. I do recommend most of the time for acne clients to have the mask because they can get very congested in between the treatments, which can cause a lot of breakouts. Um, they have like a, lo a lot of dirt and bacteria in the pores. So I do recommend for oily skin clients to use an acne mask at least one to two times a week at nighttime. Then we have the Cherry Claim Mask, which is our stronger um, acne mask. I like this one for more cystic acne or just very, very oily, acne-prone skin. Um, so this one's made from Callan clay, which also draws out the impurities of the skin and also provides exfoliation um, and helps to reduce active acne. But the main active ingredient is the cherry, um, the cherry juice, which is active and has a lot of vitamin C. So there's a high content of citric acid in the mask. And that really helps to reduce breakouts and really decongest the pores, but it makes the mask very active. So a lot of clients will feel a lot of tingling with this one. This one does dry really hard, like harder than the red lava. So this one, you must put a very, very thin layer on the skin, because if you do put too much, it'll cause a lot of stimulation um, and it'll make the client uncomfortable, but also you'll be removing the mask forever. So just put a very thin layer that you can see the skin underneath it and then leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes. You can also combine the red lava and the cherry clay. Like let's say your client um, is just like combination skin, but they do have a few like active breakouts. You can put the red lava on the areas where they're just like, you know, combination skin or oily, and then put the cherry clay mask only on the areas where they have the breakouts. So you can do it like that too. Um, for home care, it is really popular actually for clients that have or have concerns that their pores are too big or they have a lot of congestion. This one is able to really get the congestion out um, from the skin, especially clients with a lot of blackheads. But for clients that have those active breakouts or cystic acne, you can actually um, recommend the cherry clay mask as a spot treatment to sleep with on overnight. And that'll help to reduce um, the breakout while they're sleeping. So they can do that a few nights in a row to clear up the active breakouts too. Okay. And then we do have this professional only product. It's called the Pure Pumpkin Enzyme Exfoliant. So this one is like doing a chemical peel, but it's derived from pumpkin and there's natural alpha hydroxy acids like lycolic and lactic acid. And there's also natural salicylic acid. This one is a really good treatment for acne and for sun damage. Um, you can use it on all skin types except sensitive skin. Um, and there are certain protocols that you need to follow. So because it is like doing a chemical peel, the client needs to stop using retinol or alpha hydroxy acids at least three days before. And then they shouldn't continue until a week after the treatment. And obviously sunscreen every single day when you're getting this treatment done. Your client can come in about um, once every three to four weeks to get the pumpkin treatment to treat acne or hyperpigmentation. And they can come in for four to five sessions to really treat the skin for those concerns. Um, this can be either added on to any facial treatment, like if your client just needed like an extra result for exfoliation, especially, um, or you can do it as an express treatment. But it's really important to remember never to steam with the pumpkin enzyme exfoliant. I usually just steam during the cleansing. I shut it off and then I'll do the pumpkin enzyme. You want to leave it on for about three to five minutes. So if your client can tolerate the full five minutes, that's great. Um, the skin will probably get red around three minutes. Um, if you And I always ask on a scale of one through 10, if your client says after three minutes, they're 
at like a five or six, I do try to leave it on the full five minutes, but if they're at like a seven or eight, I'll just remove the peel right away. And to neutralize the peel, I just use a lot, a lot of cold water towels. So you, you should make sure you have cold towels already before you perform the treatment, just in case you need to remove the peel right away. You'll do a couple of towels until the um, skin and the peel, the skin's um, cooled down and the peel's completely removed. And then you'll always want to use the green algae soothing gel. So if you're doing the pumpkin enzyme, you always want to make sure that you have the green algae soothing gel um, when you're performing the treatment. So after you remove um, the pumpkin enzyme, I'll spray the skin with toner. You can use any of the two toners. And then I'll apply the green algae soothing gel. I actually let it sit on the skin for about two to three minutes just to let the skin cool down. And then I actually massage it into the skin. So you'll do, um, so make sure that it's completely penetrated. And then for dry skin or for anti-aging, you can use the mango butter mask. But if your client was oily skin, never use the red lava or the cherry clay. If your client was more oily, um, you can use the acai mask for the oily skin mask only for after the pumpkin um, because it'll help to reduce the redness and it is a clay base. So it'll, you know, won't clog the pores. Um, or you can just use the green algae soothing gel as a mask for 15 minutes and then remove it. But I like applying the green algae soothing gel and then doing the acai mask for oily skin clients. And then you'll use your oily skin organic products for the rest of the treatment. So this is a very, very effective peel, um, especially for an organic product. It's very effective. So that was it for all the products. Um, I created this facial treatment. Um, we are a European style type of um, line, I guess you would say. Um, so you'll notice throughout all the shear lines, um, our protocols are more like European style, but I wanted to create a sheer organic European facial. For those of you that really love European facials, I personally love getting European facials. Um, it's a 60 to 75 minute treatment. It involves a lot of massage, which to me is really important. And using the organic products with it just really adds like a lot of, you know, really good smells and like really like nice feeling ingredients, but also getting a really nice result for the client. So this treatment is really for all skin types, except for acne prone. So usually acne prone skin, I'm just going to you do like an acne facial with like a lot of extractions. This one will really focus more on like um, the massage pretty much. And it should be about 60 to 70 minutes. You can make it a 90 minute facial by adding like other masks to it or double exfoliating. But um, typically it should be 60 to 75 minutes. So first, um, you'll start the steam and then you'll choose the cleanser for your client. So you can use the new cleanser, the um, stone crop and mango gel cleanser. If there were more like combination or oily skin, um, or if you wanted to get like a deeper cleanse, if they were more on the drier side, then you'll use the coconut oatmeal cleanser. Then you can choose any sheer organic toner for your client's skin type. Um, then you'll go on to the exfoliation. So depending on what your client's skin concern or their skin type is, if they were more combo to oily skin or had hyperpigmentation, you can use the AHA treatment scrub. If they were more concerned about fine lines and wrinkles and they were more on the drier side, you'll choose the sugarcane microderm peel. And if they were more sensitive um, or more dehydrated, then you can choose the pineapple papaya enzyme. But if you did want to make the treatment longer, you can choose one of the scrubs first or perform a microderm, um, a microderm abrasion, and then choose like the pineapple papaya enzyme as an example. And then if your client needed um, extractions, you could perform extractions. Just make sure that you're going to use the green tea toner to disinfect the skin. And then here is the... Um, added go to colon mask massage treatment. And since this one, um, you wanna focus on the massage, the go to cola hydration mask will really have that slip and really infuse like a lot of, lot of good um, ingredients and nutrition into the skin. Um, so you can do like a really nice slow 10 to 15 minute facial massage on the face and on the neck too. So you wanna make sure that you take a lot of the go to cola mask, um, apply it all on the skin and then start to massage. I like to do like a very, very slow massage. So you'll um, create like the heat with your hands to allow the mask to really penetrate into the skin. So the facial massage should really last for 15 minutes. 
Um, if your client was like really, really dry, you can leave the mask on. Like if there's any remaining mask left, you can actually um, just leave it on. You don't need to remove it. And then you can go to the mango butter mask. But if your client was more like combination skin, um, then you can just remove the remaining mask and then do the mask for their skin type. But this facial, I usually do more on like dry, mature skin clients. So you'll use the mango butter mask for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, while they're sitting with the mask, you can massage um, like their feet or their legs or their um, neck and decollete. You can use the matcha lip moisturizer, or you can use, um, we have the lavender massage oil, which is really nice. So you can do that treatment while they're sitting with the mask. You'll remove the mask. Then you want to tone the skin again. Then you want to choose a serum for the client's skin type. So if they were more, you know, dry, had concerns about aging, you can use the pure revitalizing pomegranate serum, or if they were more combination or oily skin or had congestion, you can use the eucalyptus serum. So here you can also massage. You want to focus on the massage. So um, you can either use your hands to massage, like very slowly creating that heat to penetrate the serum into the skin. Or in this step, you can use certain devices. I wouldn't use a microcurrent because of the oils in the serums, but some clients use like gua sha or um, the facial globes with the serum to add it like an extra treatment result, especially like for the gua sha, but also to make the skin feel good and to penetrate the serum into the skin. So that's optional that you can use those globes or the gua sha for the, the serum, or you can just use your hands. Then you want to apply the cucumber eye cream, just massage um, the eye area. I personally love when my eyes are like massaged, like around the eye, like, like right here is like really good. So you can do like a nice um, treatment, like pressure point, or just make sure that it's completely massaged in the cucumber eye cream. Um, and then you'll finish with the moisturizer of choice. So as you know, I just went over, we have so many moisturizers to choose from, but I choose for this facial specific one. So if they were, you know, more dry, dehydrated, you can choose the avocado. If they were more um, like combination to oily, the grapefruit would be really nice. Um, for really deep wrinkles and for anti-aging, you can end with the matcha moisturizer. Um, the turmeric is nice if they were more like sensitive or that you can choose the blackberry. Um, so those are just some options. You can even choose the blueberry night cream for the, uh, um, ending the facial for like premature aging and sun damage. So you just want to make sure that you're choosing the correct skin type for the um, moisturizer for the client's skin type and concern. And again, when you're finishing the treatment, don't just like massage it in and that's it. You want to make sure that you really want to like focus on the massage for at least like three to five minutes to really um, penetrate the serum but also massaging the skin is very important for like stimulation and also helps to um, make the skin more permeable to really um, allow the skin to like um, absorb a lot of the nutrients and ingredients from the other products. Um, so just really focus on that massage. And plus it's really relaxing. So that's pretty much how my European organic facial goes. Um, does anybody have any questions about any of the products or the treatment? Yeah, Jordana. So what do you see that your sheer estheticians typically charge for a 60 minute facial, a 70 minute facial and a 90 minute facial? Um, I mean, there, there's a lot of different factors that go into it, but typically if it was like a 60 minute facial, I have clients that charge, I would say 90 to hundred, a 75 minute, maybe 115 to 120. And anything that's like a 90 minute, I would do 120 to 150. But I have some clients that will charge like 250 for a 90 minute, you know? Yeah. And that it always depends on like your zip code, where you are at. Um, mm -hmm. Here in California, I'd probably raise that a little bit. Yeah. So it just really depends. You also want to see what maybe some other places are charging. You know, you don't want to be higher, or lower, you know? But I think for a 90 minute, at least like in my area, it's about like 150, 175. Perfect. All right. Does anyone else have any questions for Jordana? I want a, a quick question um, I have for you, Kelly, is you mentioned, or um, Julie, you mentioned that it would bit higher in California. So would you put that in the 250 range for the 90? Yeah, I mean, typically for here, we're in the Bay Area. So like a 60 minute facial is usually around 150, 70 minute would probably be around 
175 for, to 200 in the 90 minute, I mean, I would probably around 300 to 350 just because prices are very high here. Um, but, you know, always, always check what, what other estheticians are charging near you. Mm-hmm. Also, I okay, can tell you. you that um, with the professional organic sizes, um, you can get, well, I mean, depending on the product, but you can get well over like 100, 150 treatments for even like from the moisturizer, for example, you know, you can get a lot of treatments. So the cost per facial for um, our standard, like organic hydrating facial, which is about like 50 to 60 minutes, the cost per facial is like $6 or so. So if you want to take it from that point too. That's a super good point. Yeah. The Shira back bar sizes are really big and really nice to use. Mm -hmm. Do we have any other questions for either myself or Jordana? All right. Well, if you guys think of any, just feel free to shoot um, us an email. I'm going to send out this recording to the class, to everyone. I'm sorry, Jordana, were there any more slides after this one? Nope, that's it. Okay, perfect. I will send this recording out to all of our class attendees. Um, And don't forget about that coupon code. It's just Shira with the capital H and that is good till Monday. Um, I'm sorry, Friday. And you get 10% off the entire Shira Organic line. Quick quick question on the, um, the PowerPoint. Will that come as well? Yeah, I can email out the PowerPoint, Jordana, if you just want to email this one to yeah, me real definitely. quick so I can get that out to everyone. Definitely. All right. Well, perfect. Thank you, Jordana. As always, that was a beautiful class. Um, and thank you always to our class attendees. Thanks for having me. Thanks, everyone. Bye.